Hey guys, Brian here from Computer Cable Store. I'm back today with another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make your own Ethernet splitters. These things are really easy to make, but not the ideal way to uh, add more devices to your network. The best way to do that is to get an Ethernet switch. Um, these cost maybe $15 to $20 for a 5 or 8 port variety, and this will give you gigabit speeds, and it's, it's the best solution for extending out your network. But anyway, let's get started on the video. So we're not going to need a lot of parts for this project, but to go over the list real quick, we need a pair of precision cutters, a cable stripping tool and punch down tool, an ethernet cable, this one's five feet long, and I'm using two service mount boxes here with keystone jacks built into them. This way you don't need to buy keystone jacks and surface mount boxes. These things also have the punch down areas labeled, so it makes the process super easy. Well, let's get started. So the first thing we're gonna be doing is trimming down this ethernet cable since five feet is way too long for what we need. So now we need to trim off a little bit of the jacket. As you can see, I didn't trim off enough the first time around and I had to about double what I did originally. So for all of this to work, we're going to be splitting up the pairs that are being used. On the left side of port 1, we're going to be using the standard white-orange, orange, white-green, and green wires. But on the right side, we're going to be swapping the orange wires for the brown pairs and the green wires for the blue pairs. You will want to be careful with this punch down tool since it has a cutting edge on one side of the blade. You want to make sure that the cutting edge is facing outward so you're not trimming the wire uh, on the inside. So now we got the first one finished. We're going to close it up and get started on the second one. So I'll just be repeating the same process here for the second adapter. Then once this process is finished, we can start testing. Well, thanks for watching this video. Stay tuned for part two where we do some testing on these adapters to make sure they actually work.